Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile. Today we're talking about Lazarus Volume 7. This just came out, and surprisingly, I read a new trade in the week that it came out. So, uh, shh, don't tell anyone, but I was reading comics while I was supposed to be doing something else. So, I read this, and it's great. However, it has been quite some time since the previous volume came out. I did pull that one off the shelf just to check the date on it, and it came out January 2020. So it's been almost three years since the last Lazarus came out. And this is a series that had scheduling problems years back. And I, it's, it's reached the point that I don't remember if there was ever a stated reason. Um, I know there's a couple of writers and artists that have had health issues over the past. I mean, this is even pre COVID, but, um, I don't know. I can't remember if this is a book that had creator health problems or just something else. Um, so I did try a quick search. I couldn't find any stated reason. I feel like this is a book that should have a forward or an afterward explaining something, and it has neither. So I still have no idea what the status is. This ends in such a way where it could be an ending. I don't think it's intended to be that way. Uh, Rucker has stated that he had a plan, initially 150 issues for this series uh, that was later revised to a lower number. And I think one of the things that I was just reading, this is unverified, but uh, his plans changed again after the 2016 presidential election. It does feel like the story has shifted in this. Um, specifically, I'm going to point this out real quick, too. So I have a bookmark here. I actually have a coloring issue where I've got these big blobs down the center of it. And this is not the only instance of this. It is unfortunate that the first instance of this happens during this powerful, emotionally charged scene. But it does happen a few more times during the rest of this book um, in the same sort of way. It's just blobs down the center, which sucks. It really sucks. Um, but it's uh, the book itself is fantastic. I remain a fan. This is not something that I read. <laughs> so I just did... I did a video on Gunning for Ramirez, and it had been two years since the previous volume of that, so I went back and I reread volume one before reading volume two. This is not a book in which I read the previous six volumes before reading this. I just jumped into it, and I figured I remembered enough of the story. Turns out I was right, I did remember enough of it. I can't find another instance of the coloring. I just saw one before I started recording. It wasn't that far from the first, anyway. I didn't reread the previous seven volumes of this. I figured I remembered enough of the story. Turns out I was right. And uh, there's quite a bit in here that does recap thing. Well, hmm, there's enough of a recap. And there's brand new material. Uh, it starts with a two-issue arc of uh, one of the family members and what he's been up to. And it gets back to the main family, I suppose, um, and forever, and what they're all up to, and which is, as always, making plans and killing people. But um, there's, there's a lot of both world history and family history, especially at the end of this. I mean, this is probably the most information that we've gotten about the Carlisle family. To date, maybe? Excluding the supplemental material, but as far as like the comic itself, this is this is a lot, and it's really good. So, I continue to support this, despite delays. Um, I very much recommend this. Um, there are a couple of hardcovers you could get um, well, there's at least one hardcover. There's supposed to be another one coming. I'll say it that way. And, um, 
Ars Great the story is... I think this is the strongest as far as the story goes. It's... It's really good. So, in essence, since I've never talked about Lazarus on this channel before, um, this is roughly 60 plus years after an event that changes the world. So it is somewhat dystopian. It actually gives you a bunch of this material right here in the beginning. It says, something has happened, government's collapsed, everything is now run by a small handful of families around the world. They are in conflict with each other. Um, population, the global population has been devastated. And, um, yeah. So it's very much sort of exaggeration, um, playing forward sort of present times. But as I said, uh, the story just sort of took a shift after the... 2016 presidential election. Uh, one of the things that I was just reading, again, Wikipedia, is that uh, he wanted to have a brighter future instead of something that was so down, because things were pretty down for the first six volumes. But um, this is great. This is great. It's Michael Lark. If you don't know Michael Lark, then, uh, you know, he's just a random page with hopefully no spoilers, except, I don't know, maybe if we read that, there's spoilers. But, uh... It's great. I loved it. I had a difficult time putting this down once I started, and as I said, I was supposed to be doing something else at the time. So, it, um... It was a surprisingly quick read, too. Those first two issues... I was talking about um, one family member. Well, here's a good example. So it's um, not quite silent, but it's certainly less words than there are later in the book. Um, so there's a guy found at sea. And then his recovery, they're speaking Danish, I want to say. And there's a comment about Dutch, and uh, I think he's told that that was wrong. So I believe it's Danish that they're speaking. Which seems weird. Let me let me just show you this because for those two issues, everything that is said is said twice. I mean, it's it's doubling the amount of work that the letterer is doing for those two issues. It's uh, it's it's a strange choice. I don't know. Anyway, I really enjoy this. I, despite as I said. Uh, delays in the publication schedule still recommend this I will continue to support it however long it takes to get to volume 8 I will wait and I will buy it when it becomes available I guess if and when it becomes available but uh, this is great recommended <laughs>